Word from Wise. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching Word from Wise. This is Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This is episode 20. I call this one Off the Chain. <laughs> so I'm driving line 72 down 82nd Avenue through Felony Flats in Portland, Oregon. 82nd Avenue from Killingsworth almost to Clackamas Town Center is a strip. Uh, down 82nd Avenue in Portland that has more felonies happen there than anywhere else in the whole city in the whole state of Oregon. Felony Flats is line 72. I'm driving down felony through Felony Flats and there's an elderly lady sitting in the uh, honored citizen section. The first seats turn sideways when you first get on the bus. There's a, that first section of seats. She's sitting there with a little chihuahua looking like dog and um I might have maybe eight or nine teenagers on the bus. Most of them had on earbuds, little, and they were listening to music. And then I had a few regulars on the bus. It was not too packed, you know, maybe 20, 30 people all together. And then this guy at the next, I, I get ready to get on the bus, and there's a pack of people getting ready to get on, but there, there's a guy that's got a pit bull on a, literally on a big fat chain. And, um, the the dog he he took the chain off and I was like why are you taking the chain off you're gonna put come on the bus you need to put the chain on him don't you and then uh, he got on the, the, the right before he got back on the bus he put the chain on him I was like I don't understand why he took the chain off and then put it on but whatever that is we'll just let that be his little deal there and he gets on the bus and uh, and everything in my spirit said there was gonna be some kind of clash of the dogs and sure enough the little chihuahua dogs whoop, started barking and uh the pit bull lunged at the old lady's lap and and grabbed the chihuahua by his neck and a piece of his head and he had it in his mouth and he was shaking it violently back and forth and the old lady was ah! with her hands up and 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 and, and the dog the pit bull drugged the uh, little the, the little uh, chihuahua dog off of her lap, and it was blood all over the floor. And he was just pushing back and forth on the floor. And the owner was trying to was was punching the pit bull in the in the head and saying stop, 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 and yanking the chain and yanking the chain. And then the chain and it was all, it was tight was t uh, linked to this leather leash, and the leash came apart. And and the dog the pit bull was off the chain now, off the leash. And he was just going back and forth, violating the yard. And people were screaming. There was blood going everywhere on the floor. And the old lady stood up and then she put she had this big overcoat, like this big heavy winter coat on, y'all. And she she pulled this big black stun gun out of her purse, out of her uh, out of her coat pocket rather. And then she ran over to the pit bull and she went down to the pit bull's neck and she stunned the pit bull and then went, oh. <laughs> make this weird gargling guttural noise that I, I can't I can't even do it no justice but it was it was a it was a chilling noise and then poop shot out the pit bull's booty and it was and he peed on himself at the same time and he was shaking he had, and she was just tasing I mean just zapping him just zapping him and then she let go and then the, the pit bull let the the little chihuahua a dog out the mouth, and she grabbed a little dog and lovingly, uh, well, she she kind of lunged backwards and sat down in the seat, and then lovingly pulled the dog close to her body, and it was blood everywhere. It was all on her lap. It was all over the floor, and people were just stunned. Meanwhile, I'm on the. I, I had pushed a button when I seen the dog first lunge. I pushed a button. I forgot. Oh, I can't tell you that when I saw the pit bull lunge. I put pushed the button, the emergency call the police button on the computer. And I had the phone in my hand and I was waiting to, 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 to push the, the thing to talk to them, okay? I had the receiver in my hand. And so they called and I told them that I needed the police and I needed an ambulance. And I told them that, that, uh, I, might, that I might have a dead dog and someone might be injured. Just send everybody you can. And, 
And um, the lady just was sitting there petting the dog. I looked over there at her. And 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 I had saw it getting ready to happen in the mirror, but I and and I and I just can't believe how quickly it happened and how violently the pit bull just lunged at her. And so she's sitting there lovingly stroking her dog, and the the dog uh, was 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 unconscious. Oh, that's right, the pit bull was unconscious at this point, and uh, everybody was just stunned. And I'm sitting there with the doors open, waiting for the police, and the police got there like. Like rocket fast. For some reason, whenever I call the police, they always they typically get there rocket fast. There's been some incidents where, trust me, I call the police and they never came at all. Okay, or, or came late. Okay, but there, it's not unusual. Uh, but but when they do come, they came quick uh, on 82nd Avenue because this is felony flats. There's police sitting at the 7-Eleven. <clears throat> Sitting at the wind cold, sitting, I ain't gonna tell you where, I ain't gonna tell all they been this, <laughs> where they be, but, well, that 7 Eleven is closed down, and now, it used to be a 7 Eleven there, and now that, uh, uh, it's something else there now. I, I haven't been there in a while, but, uh, yeah, uh, the police came, and the ambulance came, and it was like three or four squad cars, and they escorted the lady off with the dog. And she said, nobody messes with, uh, 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 she said something like scruffins or something. Nobody messes with my scruffins. And the dog was starting, the pit bull was starting to come out of unconsciousness. And uh, he was looking very, very terrified and, and, and up under his owner. And she kept saying, nobody, and the, and the police was trying to get her to get off the bus. She kept saying, that's right, nobody messes with scruffins. Nobody messes with my scruffins. And it's like, okay, ma'am, come on off the bus. She's like, that's right, nobody messes with scruffins. And, like, she was going to chase the dog again. She was getting pumped up, getting like that. She was going to chase the dog again. And they, they escorted her off the bus. And uh, and then the rest is history. I ended, up, I ended up passing out cards to the customers to fill out to tell what they saw. That's That comes in an accident kit as part of the report to fill out these cards. I ended up passing out the cards and filling out an accident report when I got back to the garage and talking to the police and telling them what I saw and everything. And and I thank you kindly for listening to my bus story. This one was off the train. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling about a story a month or every month or two. I haven't, I, I don't want to run out of stories and burn out. I got some good stories coming, so y'all stay tuned. Thank you for hanging in there with me, even though that I, 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 I made my channel hatch it down right, way, way, way slower. And on, I, I can't come out with a video every month or every two weeks on this channel. And I have another channel too that I work on. So yeah, this, this channel, I come out with the videos about every month and I might come out with an, Break out playing my guitar on this channel just because I got some youngins on this channel that are, are young musicians and I'm excited for y'all young musicians that have subscribed to this channel. Please keep at it and keep at it. I, I have arthritis in my hands. Bad news. I can't play the guitar like I want to. They keep locking up. I've been taking a leave and it helps a little, but I can't take that every day. And so if you are young and you play an instrument, please hear my heart. And there's nothing wrong with your hands and you're able to play. Please play while you're young. That way, by the time you get old, you won't have to learn. You know, you'll already have it down and you, you can make up your own music and your own compositions then. OK, stay stick with it. Don't give up. All right. Thank you for watching Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This was episode 20 off the turn. Please like, subscribe, comment and share the video. All right. See you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>